If you want to support the channel, check out my latest book in the description below. And Tiny House Summer Camp Year 11 is happening in Vermont. Details down below as well in the description. Today, talking about extending your space to the outdoors when dwelling in a small cabin, tiny house, tree house, shed conversion, whatever. Thought this might be a cool discussion topic while I put together a new toy. Baby, it's cold outside. What's up, guys? DeepRelaxShacks.com and my other channel, Streets, shall provide. This is my super messy, like it's a hoarder's paradise nightmare. I'm not sure which uh, art studio I'm working on cleaning it up because a lot of you don't realize it, but I do, aside from the whole tiny house and treehouse building thing, I do a lot of custom art for people. I have an Instagram page as well. It's right there. Check that out. I'd appreciate that. Uh, but I don't really, aside from this, which is a total mess because I just did some storage auctions and other things on my other channel, Streets Shall Provide. But aside from this little space here, which is packed to the brim, I don't have any indoor building space for all my prep building for tree houses, my spray paint work for art, things like that. So I work outside and it kind of stinks because right now it's 20 degrees outside. That's why even in here, it's not heated. I'm wearing this hat and this puffy Stay Puff Marshmallow Man like coat. It's cold outside. Another problem is snow and rain. Recently got some snow. It's always raining around here. So I finally sucked it up and bought a canopy, a big one too, and one that's supposed to be awesome. I'm gonna set that up and talk about a few other things I'm working on because I can't have rain dropping on my artwork and things I'm building. I need some coverage until I build something more permanent. This will be useful in flea markets as well, which I do a lot. So just the other day, this giant box arrived with a thud on my deck. It's a 13 by 13 instant gazebo that I picked up. And uh, I had a gazebo in the past or canopy, but it was one that was like 10 by 10 and it was cool, but I wanted to go with the bigger one. When I'm doing art fairs and such, I want the setup to be quick. I want it to be simple. And that's what I'm hoping for here. All right, here we go. It's like a giant baby. So you get a burp. Oh, cool. It has a... Uh carrying case, like a, uh, a cover for it. If I didn't know any better, I'd think someone shipped me a bazooka. All right, this looks like the cover of the fly. Pretty straightforward here. Some Velcro attachments. Probably cords for tie downs. To keep it from blowing away. And this is just the main body of it. It's like any other... Uh, canopy that folds out. This one looks pretty bulletproof though, which is what I want. Not that I plan on being in the line of fire while selling my art. Now the coolest aspect of this, something that doesn't often come with these kits, these are sandbags. They uh, Velcro to the legs of the tent, weight it down when you fill them with whatever substrate, sand, crushed rocks, things like that, and keep this from blowing away in heavy winds, which have you ever been to a flea market, art fair, anything like that, there's always someone's tent where they haven't weighted it down that's blowing all over the field, destroying their goods, and just wreaking general havoc. So these are an awesome thing as I shake the camera as well. That's how excited I am. These here are tent-like tie-downs to tie it to the ground so it won't blow away. The guidelines, if you will, uh, which some of them are in here. And then some of the other ropes are basically the stringers for the mosquito netting so it can slide back and forth with these handy dandy little almost like shower curtain rings they give you that attach to this giant collection of mosquito netting which will be very very important in the summer when we do our tiny house summer camp workshops up in vermont especially with the black flies so i'll be entirely honest i look at the directions at first and it looked like there's a lot of pieces i'm like oh my god this looks like it's difficult it really isn't and so it begins and as we jump into this, here's the comment discussion question. What are some other easy ways to extend your living space in a tiny house? You know, a porch, a deck, a pergola, the Tuftex roof. I have one in my house over my porch, the canopy, the gazebo, things like that. Cheap, effective, efficient, simple ways to extend your living space outdoors when you're living in a very tiny house, cabin, tree house, whatever. Let's have at it. You have at it. Drop some comments down below. Now, if you guys are putting one of these together and looking at this video for help, once you get this uh, main tarp on, these long tentacles here, 
There's a big hole. You feed it through this upright piece, and this upright piece right here sits right in there. So when it unfurls, it tightens everything. It gives you that overhang or the cantilevering, uh, cantilevering overhang or more shade, in effect. I also found that one of the easier way to assemble these is to crawl under it, grab the, uh, the midpoint, and just push upwards to kind of unfold, untransform everything instead of running around doing corner by corner. Pretty freaking cool. Check out this hub piece underneath. Right here. This piece, as you lift it, comes down. There's a ball that plugs in here and clips in, and this is the release for it. So this kind of holds that peak up. It's pretty ingenious, really. I've never seen that on one of these. Now, once you have the peak clicked in place from inside, you can just attend to all the tie downs that are located in some pretty obvious spots and then work on, if you choose to set that part up, the mosquito netting, which because it's 20 degrees, I'm not gonna need, but I'll show you photos of that. This thing is huge, check it out. Okay, I have to point this out as I look upward. Now that you can see this, I can reach, I'm six foot four, my reach is about eight feet. I'm still a foot and a half shy of the peak there. So that little apparatus there, I am still shy maybe six inches. So this is eight foot six approximately inside. Naturally gonna toss some information down below. If you pick one of these up, it helps me out, it helps the channel, this, that, the other thing. Lots of other informational useful links down below, especially for my A-frame cabin plan sets and a couple more new plan sets are on the way. Overall, way easier to set up than I thought it would be, which is key, it's clutch, I'm telling you. Uh, info on this thing down below. Uh, on my art Instagram link, again, here it is. Please check that out. Workshops on the way, Tiny House Summer Camp, number eight, nine, which is year 11. If that makes any sort of sense coming up in vermont if you want to build camp out with us build tree houses tiny houses all that and thanks for watching as always i appreciate your viewership hit that bell for notifications for future videos leave a comment definitely down below and hit like thank you take care be well